Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss the structure of hydrocarbons. Today's essential question, what are the types of formulas for hydrocarbons, and how are they written? Hydrocarbon formulas. There are three different types of formulas for hydrocarbons. Um, first one is molecular formulas. A molecular formula is the type of formulas we've been talking about all along. They show both the type and number um, of each element in the, in the molecule. And nothing is indicated about the actual structure, so how the molecules are bonded together. Okay, it's just, it's just the type and number of molecule, or atoms in the molecule. So an example is here, C2H6. All the molecular formula tells us is that we have two carbons and six hydrogens somehow bonded together. We don't know the arrangement. So that is a molecular formula. The next type of formula is what's called the complete structural formula. Um, the complete structural formula shows all of the bonds and all of the valence electrons. Bonds angles are ignored and so a quick example of a complete structural formula um, would be something like C2H6 So there is a complete structural formula. It's really basically Lewis dot structure. And the third type of formula is the condensed structural formula. The condensed structural formula is kind of like in between the complete structural formula and just the molecular formula. It does show the types and numbers of atoms and it's written in the order of bonding. But the actual bonds themselves are not written. So an example would be like, I'm going to rewrite the complete again from the last slide. So if we have the complete structural formula of C6, H, no, sorry, C2H6, what you can see is that we've got the two carbons are bonded together, right? And each carbon is bonded to three hydrogens. So the, an example of the condensed formula, ah, can you tell there's a D there? Would be CH3, CH3. So we've got two CH3s hooked together. So that's the condensed structural formula. All right, so how do we draw structures of hydrocarbons? We'll start with the going, starting with the molecular formula. So we'll use an, as an example, C3H8. Okay, so the first thing you do, wanna do is draw out the straight chain of carbons Keeping in mind that when we're talking about organic chemistry, it's made up of a carbon backbone. So we have three carbons, each carbon having four valence electrons. Okay, so those are going to connect together. Um, next step. We're going to arrange the hydrogen so that each carbon ends up with a total of four bonds. So we have a total of eight, car um, eight hydrogens, and let's look. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight bonding spots. So we can put a hydrogen, which each has one valence electron, at each bonding spot. There you go. Um, and something we will also be working with is that if you don't have enough hydrogens, you may have to use double or triple bonds. So let's try one like that really quickly. Say I gave you C3H6. So again, again we have 
three carbons. And those are connected. But we only have six hydrogens, and but we have eight bonding spots. So what you need to do, what well, let's let's put in our six our six hydrogens. So we have one hydrogen, two hydrogens, three hydrogens, four hydrogens, five hydrogens, and we need to stick in one more, six hydrogens. So we have our six hydrogens, um, and we have our three carbons, but we do not have four bonds around each carbon. However, we can connect those two and have a double bond. Okay, now to write the condensed structural formula, we're going to use the complete structural formula and work from there. So let's put back our C3H8 example. And the first thing you're going to do is write the first carbon. So here's our first carbon right there. So we'll write down carbon and then write hydrogen and write the number um, attached to that car carbon, how many hydrogens are attached. Well, looks like three. Then we go to the second carbon. We'll write the carbon, we'll write the hydrogen, and this time we have two hydrogens attached. And then we look at the third carbon, right hydrogen, and we have three attached. So there is the condensed formula. Here we have the complete formula, and here that's kind of cut out, we have the molecular formula. Okay, I'd like to try one more example going from the complete to the condensed formulas. Um, one, this time with, some, with, a, with a molecule hydrocarbon that has a branch in it. So, now let's put another C there. And let's see, we'll have a C. This could be an H. I'm going to see here with H is connected. All right. So what we have here, this guy right here that's connected to the C is called a branch, and we'll talk more about that soon. Okay, so how would you draw the condensed formula from this one. Well, we'll start with the first C. So we're going to have CH3. And then we're going to go to the next C. Um, and it's C, and he's only connected to one H. Ignore the branch for a moment. Oop, I forgot an H here. Okay. Then we'll go to the next C. CH2 and the last three, which is C. Oh boy, H3. All right, then we have to deal with this branch here. Well, he's connected to the second carbon, and he is CH3. So um, here I am showing a bond because I want to, you remember the condensed formula shows the, act the arrangement without the bonds, but the only way to show the correct arrangement when you have a branch is to put a bond there. Okay, so this would be the condensed formula, again, when you have a branch. All right, that's it for today. Have a good one.